All right, all right. Welcome back. Thank God that you guys are back here to be able to watch another gameplay of Dangerous Fellows. I took a little bit of a break on this, but we are back, and I'm assuming just as active as we were the last time we were here. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you. We're on episode six. Wow. I wonder how many episodes are in this game. I think I need something. Okay, so to catch us up, we are locked in a classroom right now, me and Judy. And we need something to get us out. Um, well, we'll be back, guys. Okay, guess we will not be back, guys. Well... Right now, it looks like we have the gems, right? We need to get out the classroom. If we give up, we might not even get any help at all. We might just be stuck in there. I don't think it's going to be a whole bunch of people looking for us, so let's just do it. I wandered around the classroom to see if there was anything useful. What are you doing? Judy gave me a worried look. I can't just sit and walk, wait around here. I squeezed myself along the piles of chairs and desks. If there was something, I figured it must be somewhere I hadn't checked yet. After looking through the floors over after looking through the floors and walls, I felt half desperate. I put my hand in one of the desk drawers. I moved my hand around, but there was nothing but dust sticking to my hand. After multiple attempts, just resulting in my hand getting dirty, I sighed and tried the next drawer. Oh, Felt something long and solid and kind of flat, too. I pulled the item out and noticed it was an L-shaped metal ruler. Perfect. What is it? What is it? Did you find something good? Did you find something cool? Who's looking for something cool? We trying to get out of here, Judy. I waved the metal ruler above my head to show Judy. That's just, just a ruler. We... <sighs> Use what you got. I brushed the dust off my hand and walked over to the door. Judy didn't seem to have faith in my idea, but didn't mind me trying since it was better than doing nothing at all. I'm saying. I stuck the ruler through the gap between the door and the door frame. Moving the end of the ruler around, I can feel it hit something on the other side. Is it working? I gave her a nod and continued wiggling the ruler. There's something on the other side, but I can't reach it. I tried poking, twirling, and finally pushing it really hard. Ooh, what was that? I felt like something hit the floor on the other side of the door. It's like it's like a chair. I quickly pulled out the ruler and carefully gave the door a push. Please open! The door sp opened smoothly with a swoosh. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Judy excitedly ran out to the hallway. Followed her, worried that it might be dangerous to head out there. Fortunately, there was nothing dangerous in the hallway. So that was blocking the door? My eyes went over to where Judy pointed, and there was a wooden panel lying on the floor. This, where did this wooden panel even fall from? A certain person's face passed through my mind. I wonder who? No, I shouldn't draw conclusions without proof. There's enough suspicion in this world as it is. Surely, it was just an unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> Are the others still asleep? Maybe. Room 1C. This was the classroom used for meetings and when, and when hanging out. This was where I first met the others, too. Some of the others were already there. They didn't seem very far from our room, but how come no one had heard us? Negative thoughts crossed my mind, but I decided not to entertain them and just looked outside the window instead. All right, now. There were shadows lurking outside. Judging by their unnatural movements, they were definitely zombies. Uh, morning. What are you thinking about? Haley walked over to me carefully, noticing the shadows outside. She nodded understandingly. She looked bothered too. Probably people we used to walk by on the streets before. 
don't you think why are you so nervous why are you so timid looking all the time every time we interact like wh who hurt you yeah we maybe even talked to some of them too hey ladies let's not get too sentimental that ain't helping us in any way you know Eugene closed the drapes over the windows. It's not just being sentimental. It's proof that we're still human after all. That's true. I mean, emotions kind of define us being human. Huh. That's why I hate them. We brought some food. The boys walked in with bread and candy bars and laid them on the desk. Maybe that's why no one could hear us. They were preparing breakfast. Everyone grabbed this. It was bread and chocolate. How much preparing is that? How loud is that in comparison to us screaming? I don't know. Everyone grabbed a chair and sat down around the food. Good morning. Did everyone sleep well? Yep. Other than one little thing that still bugs me, I'm good. Mm. I wondered whether she'd ever give up. Well, since we don't have any critical issues today. Let's have our morning meeting over breakfast. Since we checked out the outside perimeter last night, let's just check inside the school today. Uh, that makes sense. No need to redo it every day. What about the key? Oh, yeah, yeah, we found the key. Right, so from now on, we're adding checking locked doors to the things to do during p patrols. She'll be in charge of that. Lawrence gently gestured over toward me. I gave him an awkward smile while jiggling the key in the air. This is so pointless. It's just a waste of time and effort. Since we need resources, finding anything would be a win. Honestly, what are you going to lose by checking some of the doors that are locked besides finding something? What is your problem? It's way less troublesome than heading outside. Hey. Where haven't you been yet? The teacher's lounge on the fifth floor. The library. The storage room in the gym. And the snack bar. Don't forget the broadcasting room. Wow. There's uh, quite a few places, huh? Yeah. Should we try the library first, then? I made a suggestion. Hoping that I'll be able to find something to read there. Does anyone want to come with me? I know. I noticed Jean. I noticed Eugene grabbing Zion's arm and raising it up. Hey, what are you doing? What? Didn't you want to go? To the library? Me? Zion lashed out at Eugene, but Eugene just giggled, amused by his own prank. Despite their bickering, the two seemed quite close to each other. Looks like you two are good to go. Let's pair up the rest of you then. Lawrence casually approves of us going to the library, to which Zion just stared at him in disbelief. It was the big deal. <sighs> Whatever. He didn't seem so bad, just a tad intimidating. But I guess it was still better than going by myself. It's much better. We realize that going by ourselves is not a good idea. Oh, music stopped. We finished breakfast and everyone split up to do the morning patrols. You coming? Except for this guy. Who's with the long face? Oh, I see you wanted someone else for your partner, didn't ya? Um... <laughs> How do I even respond to this? Because of course I wanted someone else. I would have taken Harry in a heartbeat. I would have taken Ethan for sure. Lawrence, I wouldn't mind. But I don't know. I, You know, I never got gave Zion a chance. Like, we only talked... In group settings. <sighs> yeah, let's not get on Zion yet. We don't even know him. He's been, you know, he's a level of jerk, but not to J Eugene's, you know, level. That's not it. Shall we go? With an awkward smile, I took the lead. You know it's this way, right? I turned back and walked quickly to catch up with Zion. I couldn't stand the awkward silence. Um, so I take you don't like reading much, huh? What's so fun about just looking at letters on a piece of paper? And even if I read something, I hate to do it when the story doesn't end up the way I want. Yeah, that's true. I guess 
choosing the right book is kind of like gambling in that sense. Some of our friends actually start with the endings first. Really? I wish I would open up a book, read how it ends, pass all the character development, and then go back to the beginning. You already know how it... I don't... Mm, I don't like that idea. Oh, that's more practical. You'll be able to avoid bad books really fast. Would you? But you'd spoil the enjoyment of story twists if you read it that way, though. If the book isn't fun without twists, it isn't a book worth reading to begin with. If the book isn't fun without twists, it's not worth reading. Ah, uh, that's true. It does need a storyline. It's not just all about pot twists. So that, no, that's a really good point, actually. As a writer myself, that is a good point. It's not all about, you know, conflict and twists. It's about the depth, the meaning, the story. We kept talking on our way to the library. Is this it? Are you illiterate? After we just talked about books all the time, you're going to sit here and ask, Ah, you rude. This is... <sighs> all right. Zion pointed at the sign on the wall. Of course not. I was just kidding. Oh, I'm starting to get on your nerves. He snickered as he gave the door a light shove. The door just rattled, refusing to open. Hey, try the key. I didn't want to follow his orders, but ended up taking the key from my pocket anyway. Ugh, I hope there's a lot of comic books in there. If it opens, of course. This is a school library, Zion. I doubt you'll find any comic books in there. Why not? They're just as educational as regular books, don't you think? Um... Maybe. I I've never read one. I let his question go unanswered and just inserted the key into the keyhole. Meaning I never re read a comic that was on the same level as a another book, to be honest. I turned it slowly with a bit of hope, but it didn't move. Man, what a bummer. With that amount of a disappointment, people would think you were a bookworm. Well, didn't you choose this library hoping to find something to read for yourself? I was surprised that he knew why I had chosen this place. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Hey, you can't just ignore my questions like that. No, that's not it. I, I think I heard something. Of course you did. Although Zion seemed unconcerned, he looked around wearily. Warily. There's nothing here, though. Well, that's a relief, then. <laughs> but Zion didn't look relieved. I could understand. Just because you don't see anything doesn't mean there's nothing there. That's creepy. Hey, let's just leave. I hesitated for a moment before deciding to follow him. Who is that? Is that Harry? Who's that? He has white hair looking thing? Uh, Eugene, maybe? Is that blonde? I don't know. Who is that? Oh boy, what's coming after us now? Oh, yep, that is... The end of episode six. Critical. Oh, well, we're going to have to figure out next what kind of critical commotion is going on here. Oh, boy. I can only guess what that swish sound could have been. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me again on another episode of Dangerous Fellows. I hope we get to whoever this key could open up to. I hope, you know. We grow closer as a group. I hope we just survive this. And maybe there's some place where there's more people that we can kind of like, I don't know. It can't just be us, right? So we'll figure it out. And we'll figure out what this critical means on the next episode. So thanks for joining again. Please like, comment. So I know this is something you guys are into. That you want to see more of it. Because I was tempted. I was tempted to not really post another episode because I haven't been seeing a lot of love on these kind of videos so well at least on the last one so I take a bit of a break but let me know guys we'll see anyway thanks for joining thanks for stopping by and listening to me and my commentary my ranting enjoy the rest of your day rest of your night rest of your morning god bless you god bless your timeline and keep holding on <laughs>